all right guys welcome back to the channel i have a really big project for us today so over here i have a cow hide i'm gonna bring it over to the table now it has been salted for to preserve it and it's a pretty hefty boy it weighs around probably 50 pounds and we're gonna tan it. I'm not an expert. This is actually my first experience trying to tan one of these things. But hopefully we can get it done. Like I said, it's a big boy. Oh, it is one heck of a cow hide. But I've got a pressure washer behind me and that is how we're gonna cut for this how we're gonna flush it I've seen where people take pressure washers and they'll completely flat flush it it's super easy so we're gonna get started we'll crank this up real quick All right, guys, so I cut the pressure washer off because I was getting a little scared because in spots you see where it was going through the hide. So I picked up this old fillet knife, and right here where the flesh is, I'm just kind of fleshing it, going down, trying to pull, getting it all skinned away, or at least trying to, and the dogs won't leave me alone. So we're going to... Hopefully get this done where we can put the tannin solution on it and wash it and do all that good stuff. But I think I'm going to be here for a while. So we're going to, my cameraman's going to move you around, kind of give you some angles while y'all listen to some music. Because it's going to take a very long time. dollar scrapers and probably would have been done with it. but no i had to go cheap way and break my back if you ever do a project spend your freaking money and get it get the tools you need because my my hair with a old fillet knife trying to scrape a cow hide i've been out here for about almost two hours and i ain't even done yet spend your money it's there that they made those tools help you that's all i gotta say my back is killing me <sighs> she's just eating oh, you, baby? all right guys so i've been i put a lower nozzle on the Smaller nozzle on the pressure washer. I've been scraping it with a knife. And we're halfway done. Halfway. Uh, but right here you see this, this little more of a meaty 
look, I'm just scraping that off right now. It's only been about four or five hours, so hopefully we can get it done. But right there, now that I figured out what nozzle to use, this be a breeze. But I'm gonna work, finish this half, and then we'll move down to this half. But I'm gonna scrape on this. Just trying to get it done. Because as soon as it's done, we can give it a bath. We can wash it. And right here is probably, now that I got the pressure washer working, it's going to probably take just a couple minutes, maybe 30 minutes. But I will get this done. I'm Even if I have to bring a headlamp, headlight out here and do it in the middle of the night, I will get this done. But... We're going to turn y'all off. We're going to work our hardest to get everything done. We're going to get right back with you when we've given it stage two. Took me seven hours to get that flesh off, but I did it. And if you can't tell, I'm cold. I'm wet. And I've got pieces of flesh in my eyes. And I won't be, I'm not lying about that. We're using, we're going on to stage two. That is, fill this barrel up about three quarters of the way, put the hide in it and wash it off. But I told you, I was gonna get this done today. And I'm doing it. Oh my God. All right guys, it's about a hundred pounds now because it's wet. But we're just gonna, wash it off. I got some laundry detergent. It's gonna make it smell good and it's gonna make the fur soft. Ah! It's gonna put a little more in there. I'm very cold. One heck of a workout too.
we'll let that sit for a minute and wash off my table right here. That way when I set it back up there, I can, it won't get dirty. much now that I've dunked it a couple times I need to put it back on that table and refill the water and do it again just to make sure it's getting good and clean and then I've got to just fill it up with straight water until there's no soap in it soap left in it the hide and make sure the water is coming out clear. Here we go. Oh, it's nasty. experiment I guess but the, it has a couple little wood chips on it and stuff when we string it up it will uh, we can just scrape those off but it's one we had it one heck of a day though I picked the perfect time to do it because it was a winter, winter down here and uh, about 50 degrees outside, decided to come out here and get all wet. Thought a decent little, little old hoodie would do it, but no, should have got a poncho, a rain hat, and some big boots. But this thing didn't come with a warning label. But I would like to thank the man, that, Jimmy, the man that gave me that cowhide because it's going to be an amazing rug. Thank you. Whew. I'm going to throw her back in. It's going to take a little while. So I'm going to cut y'all off. When I, I do the next thing. But I got to wash this off real good. It's going to take a while. So I'll catch y'all back in a couple minutes. Uh, until I get this done. And uh, we're going to get some help. And we're going to string it up. And I'll show you the last process. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> All right, guys, it is the next day. What I did is I let it drip dry all night. 
and this is what the hide looks like. It's real big and beautiful. It's a real nice looking one. But we're gonna let it dry, the fur dry at least. And then we're gonna get the square, hang it up. That way everything is good. And we'll scrape it down, all those wood little wood chips off of it. That way the tannin solution can really get in there. But it's gonna be fun. We're gonna let this dry about another hour. And we'll see you. Alright guys, we're getting it strung up. Try to go over more with that. But we're getting it strung up, guys. It's kind of nasty, so that's why I gotta scrape it real good. But it took me a while to get all the strings in and the holes put in. So it we're kind of running a little late on it. But we're going to try to get all these things tied. That way we can apply the alum tanning solution. And we'll just kind of work up on this thing. But it's pretty big. We're going to do a time lapse of us tying it. So enjoy. guys so it's not all the way done it's not string perfectly but this is my first cow hide basically other than a squirrel first hide I got this scraper to get all this stuff off and I got a sponge to wash it off if I need to but we got to finish up right here and pull some strings up there and hopefully we'll have it done before we can put the tan solution on it. In a couple of minutes, we're gonna get back to y'all when we're completely strained, and then we'll show the washing and putting on the alum solution. All right, guys, so we put it up here where we can rub the paste on. We got the alum paste, it's getting dark, we're gonna show a little bit of rubbing on it but not the full thing but i i hope this works like i said this is my first time ever doing something like this it's an experiment so lord willing lord willing everything goes to plan and we have a beautiful cow rug in my room in a week
guys. So there is the next day. I'm scraping off the solution, painting solution, so we can put another coat on. The man that I watched said to use a spoon. So I'm out here scraping it. We're gonna take the frame, pull that board off, and kind of do a triangle where we can fit it into a building because rain's supposed to be coming. That's something I did not expect. I thought it was supposed to be clear skies. So that's something fun that I'm gonna have to do. But we got more ammo because we ran out last night. And that's about it. We got we're gonna scrape this. Lord willing, it will tan. Uh, so, that's about it. Catch y'all when it's... A couple days later, when it's done. Alright guys, the last day, we just applied the alum. All we gotta do now is put this tarp on it. And then we'll let it sit for five days straight. And we should have a pretty nice cowhide. We'll see you then. Alright guys, so I didn't show much of the final rubbing of on the alum, but it's done. It's completely tan. And I would not recommend this that way if it's, you're doing maybe like a rabbit or something, that method, but it's done. I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's huge. A little stiff. We'll still, but we can mark past that. Um, I mean, it, it was uh, nice to finally get it done. And it, it's come a little closer. You can see how pretty this thing goes from straight black to having it a little bit brown in it. Then it goes from real dark, like a real darkish brown, to fades out to more of a tan, and goes back to black. And he has white tips. So, I mean, it's done. I thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you want to see more cool tanning videos, I will show you how to tan a beer hut. I know how to do that because I experimented with this. But thank y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all next time. Or should I say, my name's Hunter Bletcher, and I'll see you then.